Okay, so went and rode for about an hour just around the house and uh, I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a hell of a lot better than the AT81. Um, at first it kind of felt heavier or something. It was like the bike didn't spin up as easy, but you know, I would be willing to bet it's because the other one was breaking traction and lighting up. This one don't, this one grabs. <laughs> And uh, I like that a lot better. So, um, yeah, I like it a lot. We'll uh, see how long it lasts and how good it does. It's supposed to be going to Durham Town this week, so we'll see how that works out. But, yeah, that's uh, BE33S Kokoda. I like it a lot. As you can see, I literally have Dunlop AT81s. Two of them. One off of each bike. <laughs> And I got one in the backyard, and I've gave one away, and I've gave one front tire away. I can't get rid of them. Uh, I like to keep them, just in, just one of each, just in case anything happens, but can't get rid of them. Next, I gotta get rid of that one. Probably gonna go with another one of these, Shinko 216 Fatty Fronts. But, we'll see. I don't know. I like trying new tires, but I think I may end up liking this one a lot. I know that I absolutely love this setup, 525 Cheater and the 216 Fatty. This tire right here has almost 40 hours on it. And yes, it's a little rounded over, but this tire is absolutely amazing. Gets traction in the mud, soft stuff, hard stuff, roots, trails, track, everything. I absolutely love this tire. And if the VE33S Kokoda works out anything like this one did, that's probably going to be my new favorite. But this one is definitely my number one favorite thus far. <laughs>